Previously, we had a look at Metzerlen Mariastein, completed a hike to the top of Bergmatte, and visited the Mariastein Abbey. We then went on a road trip to Grindelwald, passing through the city of Luzern and Bernigen. Grindelwald is going to be our base for the next three days, while we explore some of the best local attractions. contain our excitement as we had a day packed with adventures ahead of us. Today we will be going to the top of Schiltorn, exploring different stations including the village of Muren on the way back down. We then take a short drive to take a closer look at the Trümmerbach and Staubach waterfalls. drive from Grindelwald to Stehelberg, where we'll start our ascent to Schiltorn, with incredible views along the way. Schiltorn is a summit in the Bernese Alps of Switzerland. It overlooks the valley of Lauterbrunnen and at 2,970 meters is the highest mountain in the range, lying north of the Zefinenfürge Pass. Well, now it's time to take the cable car. From there, all the way up there. I'm going to take the cable car to Shiltoy. To get to the summit from the valley floor, you need to take a series of cable cars. And for us, the journey begins in Stechelberg. And the first leg up is to Gimmerwald. The second leg up takes you to the village of Muren, which we will visit on the way back down. The other way to the top is to take a cable car from Lauterbrunnen to Grutschal and then a train to Muren. From Muren, we we'll take another cable car towards Bir. This is the final change before Schiltorn. This cable airway is the longest and was the most technically challenging airway to build. It is also possible to hike to the peak and for a fit walker, it takes roughly five hours from Gimmerwald. The panoramic revolving restaurant Peace Gloria at the summit was featured in the 1969 James Bond movie on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Feels like we're on top of the world. 2,970 meters. And look at this view. The summit has incredible panoramic view, which spans from the Titlis, Jungfrau, Mönch, Eiger of the Bernese Alps and the Jura Mountains, up to the Vosges Mountains and the Black Forest. It's a little bit chilly, you would expect that to be up so high. Are we going down the Vogelfang? Vogelfang, let's go. There are many vantage points for amazing pictures and to just enjoy the stunning views.
weather has turned, it started to rain, so we went for a hot drink in Peace Gloria restaurant. The restaurant revolves a full 360 degrees in 45 minutes. I bet on a sunny clear day, the views are absolutely stunning. It was time to start our descent and explore other stations. We came back down to Berg and went on the thrill walk. The weather disappointed us, but we're not gonna let it stop us. We're still doing the walk. was the village of Muren. Muren is a traditional mountain village at an elevation of 1,638 meters above the sea level and it cannot be reached by public road. It has its roots as a farming village. With the beginning of tourism both winter and summer, it has grown in size and wealth. Winter sports particularly have been an important part of Murin's history since the first British winter tourists arrived here in 1911. The year-round population of the village is about 450 people, but it has 2,000 hotel beds. So we just got to Muren, it's a little uh, village up in the mountain. Very traditional, looks incredible. So much character in this place. Wow, just look at that view. Never mind the rain. From here you can enjoy the incredible views of three towering mountains. 
Eiger, Mönch, eine Jungfrau. Time to head back down if we were to make it in time to Trümmelbach waterfall. started to part and we were gifted with some amazing views of Lauterbrunnen Valley. trip it was. It's definitely something you should consider doing when when you come visit Switzerland. You, you have to go up there and, and see it for yourself. The views are incredible, the little towns up in the mountains, just magical. Really impressive. getting close in 10 minutes. The Trümmelbach Falls are a series of 10 glacier-fed waterfalls inside the mountain, made accessible by stairs and a tunnel funicular which was built in 1913. They are the Europe's largest subterranean waterfalls and are located in Lauterbrunnen Valley, often called the Valley of 72 Waterfalls. And you must come see this place if you are in the Interlaken area. These falls drain the glacier melt from Eiger, Jungfrau and Mönch with up to 20,000 liters per second, rushing through the caves, got into the mountain.
Himmelbach Falls feed the river Weisse Lutschene, which heads north through the valley past the village of Lauterbrunnen to join its sister river, the Schwarze Lutschene. It then carries the melt into the Lake Briens, which we had a look at in the previous video. Beautiful waterfall. It was now time to take a look at the Staubach waterfall, which is located just west from the village of Lauterbrunnen. The waterfall drops 297 meters from a valley and ends in overhanging cliffs above the river Weisselutschene. It's a short hike up the hill that ends in dead end right behind the waterfall. You may need a rain jacket as the wind can blow the water onto the path. From here you can enjoy beautiful views of Lauterbrunnen Valley. Feeling tired and hungry, it was time to head back to Grindelwald. We needed to get some rest, as tomorrow we will be doing a 20km mountain hike from Schönegeplatte to Furst. And trust me, you don't want to miss that. Consider subscribing so you don't miss our future videos. Your support is much appreciated. Thank you.